subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! Failure happens to us all. Failure really doesn't define who you are. Without failure, all the great people that we see and we look up to, um, they wouldn't be great. So with failure, I'm at the lowest point. I'm gonna pick myself up and get better. I thank failure for coming. Sometimes it's not nice. We all need failure sometimes in life just to remind us that, there, that we are human and that there are more things that we can be doing. So that teaches you to take accountability as a person. There's a reason why we fail in life. It's no one else's fault, it's us. So when I failed that log record, that was on me. That wasn't on my wife, my family, my friends, my coaches. That was just on me. Did I you know, train hard enough? Did I, you know, mentally was I prepared? Was my recovery point on game? all these little things and if one of those things are are there or missing then that's it you're going to have failure and that's on you guys so for me failure is such a big big part of being great i'm luke stoltman today you're going to see records be broken right guys welcome to the tom stoltman's barber shop my client today is luke we are going to give him uh, some funky colours of dye and make his hair funky. What we're doing it in homage of what we're doing it in. Why are we doing the uh, rainbow hair colour? For Rob Kearney. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I know, I thought it was for a few minutes, like a trick thing. Who's, who's rainbow is going to be better for? Find out soon. So, this is the night before my log press. Just prepping for the log press for tomorrow, I thought it'd be quite nice. Obviously Rob Kearney, we love you loads. Couldn't think of a better man to be going up against. Kearney's our bro. Yeah, he's our bro. You know, obviously Rob does the, the rainbow coloured mohawk. I'm not going for the mohawk, I'm afraid, Rob, but Tom's going to put some rainbow coloured colours in my hair. I'm trusting Tom. I hope it looks like a rainbow, because please, Scott. So we've got orange. Apparently. We have orange, white, pastel. It's mint here, it's not white. Oh, mint. mint here, it says in the bottom. Purple, pink, and we have straight silk, straight silver. Gold glimmer. Or starlight silver. Oh, starlight mm. silver. So, are you guys ready for this? Simon, are you ready? I'm ready. The world's ready. Are you going to do it straight? How do you do that? I'm just going to colour it. No, I'm going to put half the colour here. Half it here, half it here, half there, and then onto your top. I can't wait. Let it watch. Oh, you appreciate this, Rob. Does that look good already? What colour is it? Can you see the colour that comes out then? No comment. No grey hairs now. <laughs> there we go, look at that. Oh, Simon. Oh, oh, that's bright. Oh, crap. I think I did it the wrong way around. I did it the wrong way around. Doing a good job, Tom. Am I good? Do you think you're doing a good job, Simon? Yeah. Remember, you're doing it for Rob, Tom. You've got to do a good yeah, job. Yeah, I'm going to do a good job. This is serious. Don't you worry. I hope we like this, Simon. hope Don and Mark. Don, hope you're happy. This is for you guys. You're welcome. Just scoop this all in it, do you think? Yeah. Yeah, why not? This colour's mental. The other colours are rubbish compared to that. Look at the state of that. Yeah. How does that look, Simon? Looks pretty good. Yeah, his red colour is the best, but that looks cool. I'm just seeing red. I really, I'm not confident that this is good, Tom. I had something envisioned. Are you, are you happy with I'm that? really happy, yeah. I think I could get me a job in a hairdresser. Why is there stuff in my ear? Why is, why is there stuff in my neck? Yeah. <laughs> why did he put stuff in my neck? I was good, it was bit down. Just <laughs> Oh yeah, there you go, you can see the blue now. It's like purple. I wouldn't mind a bit more purple on the top, Tom. So I'm gonna go and let it dry. Um, hopefully, it shouldn't be too bad in the morning. It's not like we're gonna be 
streaming over ESPN or you know millions of people watching it. Oh shit, that is. <laughs> so stay tuned and I'll show you the finished article tomorrow. Right guys, so it's D-Day. Um, obviously Tom did my hair last night. It's still under wraps at the moment. You're going to get the first look of the rainbow coloured hair that Tom did. So I think we've got about half an hour until we start lifting. So are you ready, Simon? Yeah, buddy. How does it look? Wow, it looks good. Do you think Rob, Rob will be happy with it? Yeah, probably. You'll probably appreciate the effort we've done. It's Tom's colourblind, so, I mean, we only can do what we can do. But, yeah, we tried. So, hopefully, the rainbow-esque colour of hair. I think I'll look more of a cockerel, because I've got, like, that red bit through my head. It yeah. looks a lot better than last night, anyways. That's good. It's amazing what you can do in a night's sleep, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that didn't work. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go and get warmed up. Hopefully, everything will go well. See how the 2.30 feels today. Fingers crossed, no injuries, boom, job done, and we'll see you after. In the middle of the Yeah, 191. One so if we shut it. Two minutes. 
Sweating for me after that 2 2 1. <laughs> Thank you again for F and Z. Appreciate it, mate. Thank you. It's awesome that uh, world's ultimate strongest man. You know they're putting on these these feats of strength. Um, so so privileged to be part of it, and I can't thank the guys enough for for inviting or asking both Tom and myself to be part um, of this part two series. So it's so awesome we get a showcase to the world what you know what Tom and I have been doing and and training. You know so we're not just here. You know, twiddling our thumbs, we're in here kind of trying to break records, kind of trying to be the best in the world. And, you know, hopefully going forward, we'll, we'll win these shows. You know, the world's strongest man, world's ultimate strongest man. We're going to win those big shows. Um, and that's the plan. If there's any of you guys watching that want to take up this wonderful sport that we do, um, don't even think twice about doing it. Um, just go in, find a gym, pick up a log pick up an Atlas stone, Strongman has changed my life. It's made me more confident, it's made me, I get go around the world traveling, competing with some of my best friends in the world. I do it with my family, my family get to watch me. It's literally the best thing I think that I've ever done as a career. So I'm now a full-time Strongman. If you guys are watching, a 16 year old, whatever, watching this now, please go and pick up, go, go to a gym, lift, deadlift, squat, whatever you want to do, just know that you know, anything's possible and you, you one day could be speaking to us, so just give it your all. So that's the log attempt for the world record done. Unfortunately, 2.30 wasn't quite there today. Um, one of those days, um, I put a lot into the previous lift, which thankfully I hit 2.21, which is a new official British record, so that's pretty cool. And it's the first time since the great Zadrina Zaviskas that anyone's gone over uh, 220 kilos officially. So I'll take that today. I put a lot of kind of effort into getting that British record. I'm so really kind of proud of myself for doing that, you know, digging deep. And um, it felt effortless, to be honest, the two to one. Just have to kind of regroup. Not so much kind of heavy logs, so Tom and I are going to really concentrate on World Strongest Man now, hit the training, hit the events really hard for that. Thankfully, I don't think I have to go over 200 kilos um, on the log press for a while, which is awesome. Um, looking forward to it. So a massive shout out to World's Ultimate Strongman for letting us take part in this again. It's um, been, a, been a pretty epic adventure, you know. We, we've been with World's Ultimate Strongman since the start, so it's been a great privilege to be with them. Big shout out to Don and Mark. Hopefully 2021 we can get back to Giants Live, you know, we're getting more loose shows, any strongman shows that we can kind of get into. You know, we're buzzing, we're wanting to make a, you know, a, a dent in the, the podiums next year, kind of one, two, every show that we do. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. We've got Mr. Tom, who's lurking behind me. What are you going to say, Tom? 
What's your saying? Like, comment, subscribe, or <laughs> not this time. It didn't work. No, don't hurt me. Stay safe. Smile. Stay spicy. And what do you say for getting the British record for me? Congratulations. Well done. The greatest law lifter to ever watch, watch walk British soil. Fact. That's a Tommy fact. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep ringing that little bell. Ding 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 ding. Uh -huh.